morning na po si SSG Peeps. Welcome back to our Wellness Wednesday webinar. So our topic for today is allergic rhinitis. So we have discussion outline. So the definition, signs and symptoms, triggers, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. So what is allergic rhinitis? I know some of us here were able to experience this. So it is an inflammation of the inside of the nose caused by an allergen such as pollen, dust, mold, or flakes of skin from certain animals. So when you breathe in those allergens, your body reacts by releasing a natural chemical called histamine. So later on, um, magagamit natin yung histamine. Bakit siya nag-release ng ganon? So for the signs and symptoms, so we have runny nose, sneezing, stuffy nose, itchy eyes, dullness, and headache. And aside from those um, symptoms, we have itchy nose and itchy throat. It's because we have a um, mucus dripping down the throat, so that is postnatal drip. And then sinus pain and dark circles under the eyes. So meron tayong uh, masakit yung part dito sa atin. And then increased mucus in the nose and throat. And then sore throat from mucus as what I mentioned earlier. And then fatigue and malaise. So general feeling of discomfort. Usually it will last for two to three days. And then wheezing, coughing, and trouble breathing. So kapag may asthma ka and then may allergic rhinitis pa, so um, doble yung mararamdaman mo and your asthma attack will exacerbate kasi nga uh, meron ka ding allergic rhinitis. So what are the triggers or allergy triggers? So kailangan alam din natin kung how we can stay away from it kasi nga um, hindi natin specific um hindi tayo will inform kung ano yung mga bagay na dapat nating iwasan in order for us not to have an allergic rhinitis attack. Grass, trees, flowers, pollen. So usually yung pollen, um, ito yung mga microscopic substances na galing sa trees, sa flowers, sa plants. So usually yan nangyayari every March or summer, April, May, June, yung mga ganon. So ganyan yung season nila. And then we have the dust mites, animal dander. So animal dander, that is a um, skin flakes or part, konting um, skin ng mga animals. And then the cat saliva perfume or colognes, hairspray, cigarette smoke or air pollution, and then molds, fumes, food, especially seafoods, and change in temperature. So nowadays, or pagpasok ng 2022, so iba yung climate. So kapag may allergic rhinitis ka, 100% aatakihin ka ng rhinitis. So what are the diagnoses that um, will be using by your doctor? So of course, kahit positive yung mga symptoms natin. However, we should contact our doctor or consult a doctor to have a proper medical management. So, they will conduct medical history and then nasal inspection kasi nga um, sometimes there will be an inflammation on our nasal septum. And then immunoglobulin E or IgE test. So, ito yung antibody test to check kung ano yung antibodies or allergens na meron tayo. And then the skin prick test. So, yung doctor mo mag uh, scratch ng needle of, with the allergens and then scratch yung sa back part natin. And then kapag nag-swell siya within 15 to 30 minutes, ibig sabihin allergic ka dun sa allergen na nilagay ng doctor mo. So what are the treatments? So for the treatment, um, marami siyang form. So we have um, liquid form, and tablets, nasal drops, or injection. So pinaka-common or pinaka-number one um, treatment na meron tayo for allergic rhinitis is the antihistamine. So meron tayong mga over-the-counter drugs for that. So bakit siya antihistamine? It's because yung katawan natin, as what I mentioned earlier, um, nag-release siya ng natural chemical, which is called histamine. So in order for our, our body not to release that, kailangan natin uminom ng antihistamine to block those chemicals na release ng katawan natin and hindi na natin may experience yung mga symptoms na pinakita ko earlier. So we have um, loratidine, mga cetirizine, mga levocetirizine, mga over-the-counter drugs lang yun na we can take it if we have allergic rhinitis. So aside from that, we have decongestants. So ang decongestants natin, um, meron tayong liquid form, meron ding nasal drop, and then um, we have to take this in order for our um, nose para maging uh, malusen yung mga mucus. It's because congested siya doon and it was so elevated the difficulty of smelling and breathing kasi nga um, 
decongested, so may tendency na may hirapan tayong huminga because of that. And then the next um, treatment is corticosteroid, which is uh, corticosteroid nasal sprays. So yun, um, it will help to uh, minimize the inflammation na meron sa nasal septum natin or sa ang part ng ilong natin, pwede siyang sa sinuses. Kasi nga, um, kapag may um, allergic rhinitis ka, there's tendency also na may magkakaroon ng inflammation. And then next is leukotriene inhibitor. So this is the Montiluca. So kapag may asthma ka, sometimes binibigay ito. And may sipon din and ubo, binibigay din yung Montilucas kasi nga combo yung effect niya sa katawan natin. It also block the histamines na release ng katawan natin. So yan, pag inumin mo, pwedeng magiging rugi ka. So you have to make it sure na inumin mo yung Montilucas before sleeping. Next is the immunotherapy. So immunotherapy, ito yung procedure na kung saan your body will learn to adapt the allergens. So yung doctor mo mag inject ng specific um, allergen and then tataasan niyo yung dosage until your body will be able to adapt yung allergen na yun at hindi na mag-react once you receive it na. Sometimes yung doctor will give you um, tablet mag-undergo ng immunotherapy. So prevention, there is no way to prevent allergic rhinitis, but lifestyle changes can help you live with allergies. So number one, you have to avoid touching your face and rubbing your eyes or nose, especially kung uh, madumi yung kamay natin at hindi tayo nag-wash ng hands. It's because it will contribute to allergic rhinitis attack. So next is close windows in your home during summer when pollen counts are higher. So it's because um, sensitive ka sa pollen, so you have to close the windows. And you have also to um, enclose pillows, mattresses, and box in dust mites covers. Kapag allergy ka naman sa dust mites, so you have to cover your pillows and mattresses. And um, of course, uh, hindi natin may iwasan na magiging pet lover tayo. So if we have pets, uh, you have to keep them off from couches and ang beds and closed doors to bedrooms kasi nga yung skin nila pwede mong ma-inhale and pwede ka ataki ng allergic rhinitis or could be there yung balahibo nila ma-inhale mo. And after cuddling your pets, you have to wash your hands and do not touch your face again kasi nga um, para maiwasan yung allergic rhinitis attack. Next is Use filters in your vacuum cleaner and air conditioner to reduce the amount of allergens in the air. So, yun nga, once your allergy with um, pollution or your fumes, kailangan magkaroon ka ng filters para hindi ka atake ng allergic rhinitis. And then, once you go outside, uh, you have to wear a hot sunglasses and face mask to protect your eyes and your nose and your throat from pollen kasi nga pag na-inhale mo yun, aatakihin ka. And lastly, you have to change your clothes as soon as you come indoors. So aside from um, proper hygiene, it will help also to prevent getting allergic rhinitis kapag galing sa labas and pumasok ka sa bahay and nag-change ka ng clothes. So it will really help you to not to have allergic rhinitis. Okay, that's all for our allergic rhinitis. So thank you for listening, guys. And have a great day and stay tuned for our next wellness webinar. Bye!